Mexico experienced the most remembered ridicule in its history when, despite beating Haiti, they were eliminated from the 2008 pre-Olympics. <laughs> El Tri had to get an unbelievably high result to stay alive on the road to the 2008 Beijing Olympics. It was a difficult task, but with Haiti as their opponents, hopes were kept fully alive, especially when César Villaluz opened the scoring after 18 minutes. After that, the game would be a little bit slower, but in the 60th minute, a heart-stopping half-hour began where they were playing for their lives. The 2 to 1 was already on the scoreboard, but the Mexicans needed four more goals to dream of qualifying. They had absolutely everything a generation of players that had rarely been seen in the history of the country, and enough time to score everything they were missing. Asian players didn't retreat as one would expect, but they went all out to look for another goal and destroy the three's dream. However, of course, the Mexicans were the ones who created the most danger for themselves as they started a historic goal-scoring spree in the Californian stadium. <laughs> Nobody could believe what was happening, and it wasn't like Haiti was that strong in defense, but that Mexico wasn't being able to convert absolutely none of the dangerous chances they created. It was a historic spree. Nothing was working out for the players, coached by Hugo Sanchez, and their elimination seemed to get closer and closer. Faltan tres goles. Ánimas con esta Villaluz. A ver, tranquilo. Tranquilo, paciente. Con lo que se sabe, viene el cuarto de México. Se prepara Villaluz. Notable. Sobresaliente, placísimo. The ridicule was already huge. Even the occasions where they had a numerical advantage against the Haitian defenders, somehow, they managed to waste them. <laughs> However, just when everyone was losing hope, two goals gave the Mexicans their breath back. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver.
However, that oasis in the middle of the desert would only be an illusion for the three players, because only minutes after coming within one goal of qualification, they went back to the spree they'd been on during the whole match. The match would end 5-1 in favor of Mexico, but with the team eliminated from the pre-Olympic qualifications. That result would mean the departure of Hugo Sanchez from the team's technical direction, as well as the first big disappointment of a historic generation of Mexican football. It was the Mexican national team's most infamous match that became a real curse for El Tri.